we're heading in the right direction and we're looking like a solid team right now. Win on three, one, two, three, win! Okay guys, give yourself some room, give yourself some room. Okay, here we go, 25 jumping jacks or 10 squats, or 25 squats. Here we go, let's go, jumping jacks. Five, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, good job boys, good job. Hey, here we go, have a seat. Into the nose. Going into week two was pretty rough in the start because like we lost 0-3 and it felt like we didn't show any fight in the games and the games were like very one-sided. I, th I think we worked pretty well in our basics, basics and before facing Rogue and uh, SK, we felt ready. Listen to your teammates' calls, trust in your team. After facing Rogue, after the game like ended, we were like pretty happy with our comps. We were not happy with the result. We obviously lost, but our comps felt better and things we did in game felt a bit cleaner. So yeah, I mean, after that we had to face SK the next day and we knew that we are gonna win if we kept it that way. And that's what we did. Okay, boys. Uh, I know it's been a, a long wait, um, but I, we really, really need this game today. I want to remind you, okay, three really important things that we've been working on this week, okay? Drakes, heralds, and moves, okay? Every single time the Drake is spawning, every single time the herald is spawning, is crystal clear exactly what we want to do, when we're moving, be active in the comms. I want to hear perfect communication today, okay? So when we go and we finish this game, okay, it was clear exactly at every single moment what the plan was, okay, that's what I want. And if we can do that, then we're going to put the, ourselves in the best possible position to win, okay? Yeah. So let's fucking go. Let's go, boys. Win on three. One, two, three, win! Good job, boys. So due to the current circumstances, we've got to play in one of the back rooms uh, because basically our enemy couldn't turn up today to the studio. So to make it fair for everyone, we're going to play in the back room so there's no advantage on the stage for us or advantage for them somewhere else. Let's go. Let's go guys. That big guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, let's go. SK Gaming starting to collapse. Blue buff is there secured by Schlatan. He's got that warrior decoy available to him. We'll check it out in a moment. Mercer going very low. Treats forced to run for his life below 110 hey, HP. Hey. There goes out the orb of deception. Tower's currently taking up Mercer. Now it turns to VTO. One shot, two shots. That's a dead treat. Turning a focus to Gilead. Tower flashed away from everybody from Misfits escape to get themselves two kills. That was beautifully coordinated by Misfits. Enough, enough. Really good. Really good. It worked! It worked! <laughs> On SK Gaming, that Everfrost was flawless from VTO. Dun 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 VTO, Hourglass keeps him alive. Cyclone knocks up SK and the hostile takeover won't find its target. VTO gets the ultimate revenge after being jumped on by three. He's the one that gets the kill. The snipe from the goat as irrelevant will pick it up as the super minions are now inside the base. Once again, buying time. Neo jumps for the killer instinct. That's one. That'll be two. That'll be three. Four. Misfits. Nice boys. Four to follow. And the last Bouncing back two. time. Good scream. Good scream. It feels so much easier. I not don't know, man. Yeah. Right. Guys, 
Uh, starting 0-4 was really tough, but uh, we're slowly bringing it back and we still have a long way to go as a team and, and it's going to be really important that we keep improving our level more and more and um, getting better as a team, being more cohesive unit and just getting like really comfortable playing on the stage and, and being ready for, for the top teams this week. We finally brought back the Culture Night series. Uh, we started with uh, Rob, our new performance coach. It was nice because we got to see a bit more of his life, where he's coming from, and it was fun to understand more about, uh, about Wales uh, as well. And I don't know, it was very interesting. The food was very good, the dessert was very good. Fun, again, to have everyone together for, for uh, something like, uh, like the Culture Night. So I'm, uh, I'm happy we are bringing it back. And I'm looking forward to the future ones uh, coming up in the future weeks. Thank you all for listening. Guys, um, regardless of how we're feeling right now, we need to be together for this match, okay? We need to be together, we need to be strong as one, okay? And just remember what we did last week, we were much better with the communication on stage. We need to do that again this week. Be clear, be communicative, talk a lot, okay? And just make sure we have a plan about everything we do in-game, okay? So it's clear and we know what we're gonna do, okay? Let's fucking do it today, boys, let's go. Yeah, let's boy, go. nice, nice. Free me energy, boys, win on three! One, two, three, win! win. Woo! One of the reasons you can't look at you, you hold that thought. Hook is gonna go and connect on the karma. It's the nightmare scenario! The one thing that could not happen has happened! Well, but now it's Mursa who has been caught out. Schlotton on the way down, leaving it is the bear, but the knockup is still gonna come through. He's running, he's running, he's running, but it's inevitable! The monkey cannot be stopped! The Ordo from downtown, and Neon grabs another one. Sure, the fight still is gonna break out here. Immediate Ordo on the cross two, the front line deleted. Nuclear running for the back line, B2 in the midst of everything. They're just getting shredded! Oh, they just don't have the stats, they don't have the HP, they've got nothing left. BDS getting run down, Synchrov at least doing a little bit of something on the back line, but they're getting torn to pieces. It's the most in this case, five for one, Misfits are gonna end the game, and the Nexus is gonna fall there, Dote, last man standing. Misfits finding their second win in the summer split, their victory versus SK last week, potentially the start of good things to come. They take BDS down. Like we, we were very confident going into, uh, into the game. We knew we can win and I think the game was very clear. We executed the plan properly and I think everyone was very happy with, uh, with that game. doing what he can, the flash over the wall, hooking, locking him down, oh, wow. blast cone, they have to get away from that one, Mercy just instantly gone, the amount of damage coming out from Unforgiven is unbelievable. Yeah, kind of tanked the wave here to stop them from being able to get to the tower range, they and they're going to no go anyway. for him to go, just trying to delete the wave so they cannot push any further. Misfits just losing out everywhere right now, and so Misfits can just invest everyone here to defend. Kaiser hits oh, VTO. Lands in, Schlott on sidestepping, sentences his VTO to death, he goes golden, he buys himself a brief moment, the bit. Gonna be good. Hostile takeover buys a bit more space. GP getting cut down. Misfits. Okay, Misfits. Maybe they found it. BTO, he's still got two stacks left. Niski's all out of mana. And now, Unforgiven, the last man standing. Okay, Misfits. Misfits. So much work, but it does not matter. Misfits, how do they do it? That was a massive fight for Misfits. All right, everybody locked up into the immediate GP. I'll put it still there. It's takeover. It's so damn good. Misfits turn on an instant. Misfits is gonna end. They're gonna win. They're gonna win the game. Shouldn't have any business in doing so to move up to tie with the Trollis to turn around their season. They will find the upset win. They will take down the Mad Lions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
I even like posted it on my Twitter actually. I made a post and said we are going to zero next week and BDS was like a clean game from us I feel like. Not many mistakes and Mad Lions even though like we struggled a bit in the early game we were like calm in comms and we knew what we were doing in game so it was a pretty clean one I can say. Going into this week against G2 and Fnatic is going to be really tough but I know that my guys are uh, feeling good and we're feeling confident going into the matches. We respect our opponents and we just need to go in and play our game and we keep building upon our momentum and our growth as a team that we've uh, been showcasing. Uh, we're working hard during this uh, down week and we just keep trying to get a little bit better every day.